everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you my June Ipsy bag unboxing. I realize that these videos kind of get later and later in the month and I think it's just because my Ipsy bag has been coming in a little bit later. But not only that, ever since we've moved, I've had my Ipsy bags rerouted to my parents' house just because the addresses were going to get mixed up and I really didn't want that confusion and I wanted to make sure that my Ipsy bag did actually come to me and that there wasn't a huge mix up. So I apologize that this one is a little bit late in the game but I really hope that you guys are able to see what I get and hopefully you'll take advantage and subscribe for next month. I've noticed that the bags have gradually actually been getting better and better. Uh, for a while there I wasn't too impressed with the products I was receiving but I found that ever since Generation Beauty the products and the the product lineup in general has really gone up and Ipsy's really stepping up their game. So again, as per every month, there are two things in the bag. The first thing is always the little card, and this is the Ipsy, it's the Rebel Rebel bag, and you've got Luster Lux on the front here, and she's looking real good. So I pulled out the card, and then I pulled out the bag here, and it's a really cute graffiti bag. Just has a whole bunch of sayings on it, like makeup, Ipsy, I don't even know what that says actually. The first thing that's popping out here is this little black thing. It says, show me your cheeks. It's a blush by Elizabeth Mott. It's in the shade peach pink. Let's open it up. All right, okay. So it's just kind of a little pan. It looks like it could be depotted. Okay, so it looks like it can just I don't think I want to do that right now, but it looks like you can just pop this out of the little plastic container and then put it into your Z palette, something I have yet to pick up, but I really should. I have so many loose pans just sitting around that I need to finally get a place for them, otherwise I feel like I'm going to have a lot more loose and broken shadows and blushes and powders, oh my. Next in the bag here, I see this big thing, and this is the... Ooh, it's Soap and Glory. It's the Face Soap and Clarity 3-in-1 Daily Detox Vitamin C Facial Wash. It smooths, cleans, and purifies. It's nice to see a Soap and Glory product in here. I feel like I don't see a lot of them out there. The only place in Canada I've been able to find their products is at Shoppers. Hmm. It smells really good. Soap and Glory has some amazing smelling products, so that's nice. Oh, it's a daily, okay, so it is a daily facial wash. I'll have to add this into my skincare routine and see how it is. I haven't perfected my skincare routine yet, so it's nice to kind of swap in and out of products and kind of see which one works best with my skin type. So I'll be excited to kind of play with this and see how it is, and I'll let you guys know. Next in the bag here, I see is this. Oh, this is a delectable bottled brilliance. This is the Everything Bomb by Cake Beauty. It's got 21 different uses. I actually picked this up at Generation Beauty, so I already have a couple of little uh, deluxe sample bottles to get through. But again, like there's 21 different uses for this product, and I think that that's really cool. It's really great because I actually stick it into my purse, and as it says, like it it plumps it your pout. It um, Seal split ends, it glosses, it softens your lips, it just does a whole bunch of things. So why not throw this into your purse and use it for, well, basically everything. Alright, something exciting I see in here, I see is this. This is a Urban Decay eyeshadow and I believe this is the shade name, Lounge. So it's just a little mini loose shadow. And the shade is lounge, it looks like. I believe that there were two colors that went out in this month's bag. It was either Fireball or Lounge. And I'm actually excited that I got this one because I actually went into Sephora and swatched it. And it's a beautiful color. It's got like the iridescent and it's got like a really nice reflect to it. And I actually kind of like that it's a mini size because I always find I never get to go through a whole pan of eyeshadow and it's nice just to have a mini one especially just to kind of add into your Z palette or you know you're on the go and just need something small so that'll be nice to kind of play with and the last thing in the bag here there is a little card 
with, um, ooh, it looks like it's by Jouet. And it looks like there's supposed to be something on it. <laughs> okay, so this was attached to it. It's a lightweight cream highlighter that instantly illuminates and lifts eyes, cheeks, and brow bones. It's a blendable, buildable formula, non-greasy with easy application. Luminous highlight creates depth and dimension with a satin finish, and it's paraben-free. There's three shades, Camellia, Tiare, and Champagne, and it looks like I got the one in Tiare. And so it just kind of like opens up and it's just like a little, can I do this? It's just a little cream highlighter. It's quite small, but the full size retails for $22. So this isn't too bad of a size and it's just a nice little color. This will be great for on the go traveling, especially because sometimes I just don't want to take my full size highlighters because I'm always scared that they're going to rattle around and shake and then eventually break and we all know with highlighters I don't want to see that happen ever and it looks like that is everything that is inside of this month's bag I am actually pleasantly surprised I really do love this bag I can't complain about any of the products that I did receive I really did enjoy this month's bag I was excited to see some of the products that we got in here from like Urban Decay, Jouer, uh, Soap and Glory like those are some big names and it's nice to see that it's kind of changed over uh, some of these brands I have received in the past like Elizabeth Mott and it's just exciting to see those brands again and I'll be excited to play with those products and let you guys know so hopefully you guys will see those in a tutorial or an upcoming video. I will do my best to leave prices and links to the products down below in the description box. If you guys are subscribed to Ipsy, I would love to know what you guys received in this month's bag. I realize that everybody gets something a little bit different, so I'll be excited to see what you guys got. So comment down below and I will definitely take a look and maybe I'll check out some of the products that you got. Um, definitely send any recommendations for videos and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Bye!